Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing since I never actually released that video on uh, PoE Delve. I ended up playing Monster Hunter Worlds and I'm, I'm not really sure how many hours, 15, 20 hours into the game or so. And I want to just jump in and kind of show you guys what it's like. Now, I personally have not played any Monster Hunter like games before. I've never played anything of the franchise. And even for someone like me, it was pretty easy to jump into. So let's start off with the customization and like some really simple things. So you have one of 14 different types of weapons going from greatsword, longsword, blah, blah, blah. You can see all of them. Uh, each weapon has its own play style. Each weapon has its own combos, skills. Each one has its own, not skills, but its own benefit. Some are made for aerial, some are meant for face stuns, some are meant for, you know, big hits. Um, there's just a bunch of different things. So I'm, per I'm currently using dual blades. Now, if you look at the tree here, each weapon has its own customized tree, and this is for all your weapons. So this is for all of my daggers, you can see this. As you unlock and kill more bosses, this tree will expand and expand and expand. Now, the easiest way to explain this is each weapon specializes in something. So the ore tree, you can see here, you can bait, well, I can't really show you the stats here. I'd have to go to upgrade. So let me go to upgrade on my daggers. You can see the stats of them. Um, like at the top, you can see sharpness. Sharpness is like your durability. Um, so as an example, this is like the basic weapon. The one I'm using is actually a fire element weapon. So that's what we'll be kind of playing around with. And you can, you know, do whatever you want. You will have multiple sets if you want to min-max, because obviously if a target is weak to fire, you'll use that. If it's strong against fire, you'll swap to like water, for example. Um, you also have gear as well. Now, one of the cool things about gear, let's do forge equipment armor. Um, furthermore, on this armor tab, this is something that's really big for people. So you can actually use shift to preview what your character will look like with the gear, um, which is kind of cool because, you know, I know some people like MTX is kind of really important. Uh, this is high rank, so spoiler, don't look at this. This is basically what you're going to be messing around with. The way the game works is you're going to have gear. Your gear is going to have skills on the right. By hitting tab, you gain access to looking at those skills. Um, the important thing to note is even this low tier gear, you can upgrade it basically as you play through the game and the campaign and unlock more stuff. Your gear can scale higher, not as strong as your super good gear, but it, it can still like keep up with it. Um, I'm doing high rank stuff right now with no high rank gear and it's working totally fine. Anyway, enough of that. I wanna show you guys some gameplay and some of the cool stuff you can do in this game. So this is like our main central hub slash town place that we're in. Um, I've done everything solo. I can't speak on multiplayer. I can tell you that multiplayer does get fucked a lot. Um, I apologize if there's any lag. I'm actually live streaming and recording at the same time. So there's a room section for you to go in here. And what's cool about this is later on, you'll unlock this thing right here at the housekeeper called the Safari. What the Safari does is if you guys have ever played like World of Warcraft and you know the garrison feature, I think that's what it's called. You can basically send your dudes out to get materials for you, um, say like from a low end zone so you don't have to waste 40 minutes looking for something. You can do a lot of cool stuff like that. And you can also upgrade your training area or not your training area, your house to change it. You have an item box. There's you know no pay to win. It's a one time purchase game that stacks things pretty much infinitely from what I know. Um, it's really cool because there are these things called loadouts as well. So say you're, you know, say you're going to farm a specific boss and it's, um, you know, we'll just say you have a boss farming set, right? You can go to a loadout, create it, and then you can just double click it and you can hit load. It'll clear your inventory of all these other stuff, put it in your bank automatically and swap that out. So efficiency, quality of life, super good in terms of this. Um, let's go ahead and move out. So it's not just about killing monsters. Like, and that's it. There's a lot of other things. Well, I wouldn't really say there's a lot of other things. Shh, shh, handler, shh, 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 She wants to just keep talking. Okay, so the part I was going to go into is you have regular just going out hunting by yourself. You have bounties that you can get. What bounties are, you can see here, I have them completed. You'll have these running at all times. Um, there's bounties for gathering. There's bounties for killing. There's bounties for... Those are re really the, the two I, I mainly see. Um, so you'll have these pretty much researched at all times. The purpose of them is to give you points, which is kind of like another um, currency like gold. And you get armor spheres, which is used for upgrading your gear. So you're always going to have these essentially being done. There's limited ones. I don't know how these work. And there's critical. Doesn't really matter. 
there's investigations. So say you want to specifically hunt something like, okay, I want to hunt a Kulu Yaku because I'm trying to make, you know, a full set from them. I'm going to do it high rank. High rank would be indicated by the um, non-blue star. So you could click this and I'll show you how you can work with this later. You can then go over to any of the, there's a bunch of different exits on the map. There's an exit here, 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 and I think here. Um, and what this is going to do is we're going to depart. So we've got four different places that I've explored right now and another little area. Since I have the ability to go high rank, it will actually change what monsters are in the zone. So if I look low rank and high rank, they're completely different. So for this, we're going to go ahead and just, um, we're going to click, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go high rank and click over here and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. The game has a really kind of like Dark Souls uh, feel to it. I never really played much of Dark Souls, but that is the best way to explain it. You know, lots of dodging, lots of, you know, waiting for the right frame to go in and attack. Uh, very punishing boss fights, um, or should I say everything is like a boss fight for the most part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the quest counter. Now, she is also located in that town, so you don't actually have to do this. You could just create this. So I'm going to post a new quest, and remember I showed you that investigation I picked up? There's also optional quests that are given to you throughout the game, and there's assigned quests, which is your main storyline. Now, I can't progress my main storyline because I have to do other things, such as what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and do an investigation for this thing called Akulu Yaku. Um, you can see it's six star, so it's high rank, and I'm just going to go ahead and start the fight. Now, not literally the fight, but start the quest. And this is when you would, you know, get your multiplayer set up. And here we go. So begin quest. I've got 50 minutes. So what I'm going to do first is buff up. So the first way to buff up, I'm going to go ahead, pay with money and purchase my food. You can do a custom platter. You can do specialized things. This is basically going to buff you until you die or until you complete your quest. I always pick chef's choice platter. I think it gives you like the best of everything or, you know, whatever the chef wants at that time. Think of it like going to a restaurant, you know, I always pick what the chef recommends. Uh, I also have these buffs that I've crafted over here. Now, one of the really cool things about Monster Hunter is you have um, essentially a crafting list. And basically this shows you all the consumable stuff you'll find throughout, you know, exploring. But the best part about it is you can put a check mark by it, which means if you harvest the resource, it will automatically create the consumable item and just add it to what you have which is super, super, super cool because, you know, on the fly as you're going, you don't feel super limited. You feel like you can, you know, actively use your consumables. So I'm going to use my ration for stamina boost. I'm going to use my mega nutrients for health boost. And I'm going to use my demon drug for damage boost. Perfect. So we need to first find the, uh, the dude. So the best way to find him is to first find tracks for him. Oh, give me a second. I'm recording a video right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So we are going to be looking for our dude. So he's probably not going to be in the water. I don't want to go over here. Oh, actually, look at that. That's actually our dude that we're looking for. So now that he's discovered, I can open the map and I can actually track him in case he decides to run. Normally, you'd have to like find the footprints like this and it'll start leading you towards it. So we are just going to go ahead and start fighting. Charge complete. Okay. I'm also going to use my Vitality Mantle here, which gives me an extra layer of health. Now, this is one of the easier guys to fight, even though it's S rank. It doesn't, I mean, at least for me personally, I haven't really noticed that this guy is terribly difficult. He is pretty tanky, but not very difficult. Now, everything has breakpoints as well, um, and weaknesses, so there's a part broken right there. Usually when you break a part, they will stagger a little bit, I think. 
Uh, and you can also only find certain pieces of of what you're looking for off of certain parts on certain slash you know mo monsters and bosses. There is also a way that you can do you can do like kind of I don't want to say special move sets, but uh, since this guy is rather small, it's a bit difficult for me to do this. But you can do like really cool move sets. It's not just left and right click and etc. Um, let's see if he's gonna come over here. Okay, he's gonna fucking throw a rock at me. That did quite a bit. No, he's not gonna let me do it. Oh wait, maybe he will. Let's see if we can do the. So there's one. Uh, that works really well on high-end bosses because, you know, the bigger the hitbox, I believe, the more times it hits. You do also have a slinger that you can use. Um, a slinger is like another... Uh, it's, uh, it's basically got like a bunch of utility on it. You can find ammo throughout the entire game. And you also have a little dude that'll follow you, like mine is named Mini K. Uh, he usually is basically gonna like spam heal me throughout the fight. He sends out these things called Viger Wisps or Vigor Wisps, uh, which are used to replenish your health. He's pulling out another rock. Now if you notice, uh, there's a bar up at the top below my health bar and below my stamina bar, uh, which is yellow. It's yellow because the first tier of durability broke from my weapon. Okay, he's, he's running away now, which is good because he's running away. So we're going to go ahead and use our whetstone, which is infinite, and it will repair the sharpness back. And now we've got him on track, so we're going to follow our green sprites and go get him! You can also use the terrain to uh, help you out a lot with fighting uh, certain certain guys. Like if you know, ooh, if you know one of them has a charge, for example, you can try to place it so he charges into like a giant boulder, and potentially he'll like stun himself. Is he limping already? He might almost be in capture range, actually. So instead of killing targets, there is an option to capture them. They have to be under a certain threshold, uh, and I know for sure one of the thresholds is they'll be indicated by a skull on the minimap, but you do have to fight the guy enough times to have that... to basically have it, like, researched enough. Ooh, that was good. I think that little chip right there actually indicates it, too. That thing right there that he just dropped. Let's see. We're going to see if we can go ahead and capture him, then. So I'm going to use Trank Bomb. Trank Bomb. And where, where's the fucking trap at? Oh, he's running, dude. He doesn't... He knows you come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Did I, did I refresh my trap? I don't actually know if I did or not. Let me get these. Ooh, it's a shiny. Where's my trap at? Oh, here we go, pitfall trap. <laughs> I accidentally kicked the beetle. I was just right-clicking for the stuff. Let me get these instead. I like scatter nuts. And as I... S okay, cool. So he's right over here. We're gonna go ahead and see if this works. Or actually, maybe maybe I can get lucky and show you guys this part. Oh, here we go. So this is something else you can do, is you can ride on top of them. Now, okay, if you look at that bottom left bar, it's gonna go to red. From my understanding, when it goes to red, either you have to move from where the target position is now, with, which w, with, with W, or you need to brace. But those both consume stamina. Here we go. And then you can do this, which is kind of like, this is OP Deep's mode. So he's knocked down. I'm quite sure we can pitfall trap him. So let's go ahead and pitfall. After you trap, and it's successfully trapped, you need to use two Trank Bombs, and you can capture him. And that's pretty much how Monster Hunter works. Now, the boss fights do get 50 times more epic than that, 
Uh, but do understand that this guy could have killed me pretty easily. I was just trying my best to, you know, dodge, put on my best performance uh, for you guys on YouTube. Now, uh, normally when you kill a target, you can skin it, but by capturing it, you cannot skin it. But I do believe you get additional rewards, and you'll see the rewards here at the end. Um, so we've got the quest rewards, we've got bonus rewards. I don't know if the bonus rewards... Bird, Wyvern, Gem, Rarity 7. It's shiny. I don't know what it does, but it's fucking shiny. Um, the plus also indicates the... Um, the uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, like the difficulty, the high rank, I think it's called. So we're going to do Take All. And this is, this is my investigation progress for my main quest line. You can see here, so uh, records updated, Palico level, which is, you know, my little mini K. And then, um, normally at this point, you'd like go back, get more bounties, check your main storyline. You've got like cultivation you can do. There's a bunch of other stuff, but this video is not really going to go into any of that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um... Um, you know, I know a lot of people are saying they have really bad performance drops and performance issues with the game. I personally have been running everything crystal clear. I know it may not show that on the display, but I've had pretty much nothing but positive uh, stuff from Monster Hunter. Sometimes I get like chain stunned, get hit four or five times, insta die. Kind of sucks. There are ways to avoid that, but that's pretty, you know, kind of sucks. I do get salty about that. Uh, something else I noticed that kind of sucks is the controls are really, really, really odd sometimes on mouse and keyboard you can just change them but you know sometimes you want to work around the default to figure out what you like best uh the main things i've noticed that are weird is like control to shoot sometimes when you're in slinger mode or using certain weapons and then the whole c and v to target uh can be a bit odd but anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves uh if you liked the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash fox hope you guys have a wonderful time and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.